I was intrigued by the premise of how Tetris came to be sold alongside the Game Boy, but I did not expect the movie to be this entertaining. I was pleasantly surprised. The story of one man trying to buy the rights to a Russian game for Nintendo seems like an easy job at first until shit goes down. There's tension building throughout the film as competition to our protagonist seems to be mounting and the odds seem stacked against him. It all culminates in an exciting high speed chase climax, but I just wish they didn't overlay the 8-bit graphics onto the cars because I wanted to see real cars crash, not video game cars. Pacing was good, it was fast, and some say it was too fast at times, but I disagree. It was fast without seeming like it was targeting the millennial attention span like Black Adam. I actually cared about the characters. You want to root for the protagonist when so much is at stake. And then you care for the creator of Tetris because you feel sorry for him. He doesn't earn any money to sell the very game he made. And then I actually cared for the CEO of Alorg who was simply looking to sign the best deal, but the KGB was on his case. I did not expect to root for that guy. Point is, I liked the characters. The soundtrack had multiple versions of the Tetris theme, which is apparently an old Russian folk song, which explains the version where it was sung by an all-male Russian choir. That was a memorable version. Be sure to watch the post credit scene because you will see the real Hank Rogers and creator of Tetris in a vlog from the USSR in his actual trip. It didn't surprise me to find out that this was loved by both critics and audiences alike. It was a fun ride, time well spent, I recommend it. Go check it out on Apple TV+.